Members of the School Feeding Caterers Association of Ghana are fuming as they lament ill treatment by government. On Tuesday, they thronged the Kwame Nkrumah Circle in Accra to demand immediate payment by government. Clad in red bands, the caterers said they were fed up with the many failed promises by the government to have them paid. They want their money and they want all of it now. Upon the news that we heard yesterday, we don't think we can work with 12 days money because, one, we didn't get money from the government. It's pre finance We use our own money. And this money that they are giving us cannot even pay our debtors, not to talk of our workers, not to talk of buying extra food starts for their kids. So for this reason, we are not going to cook again until further notice. Did, did they offer you any explanations as to why the monies are being delayed? They didn't explain anything to us. All they told us was they were working, working on the payment and in no time we we're going to receive our full payment so that they think about the increment. But from what we are seeing and what we heard yesterday, the, the management and the gender ministry, the caretaker minister, they are not ready to come to our aid. They are not ready to listen to us so we can't cook again. For two terms now, the caterers say they have been using their own monies to cook for students under the school feeding initiative, but the government is refusing to pay them for their services. Some of the caterers voiced their grievances to City News. Where we used to our creditors, they don't give us peace. We can't sleep in our houses a whole lot. Almost every time, if they have to pay us, someone must pass on or someone may lie in hospital bed before they will pay. A lot of caterers have lost their soul because of our salary. How much money did you invest into this business? As for money I invest, now when I tell you now, it's a lot. Because some, when you go into it, it doesn't come back. You don't remember it again. Because now I'm telling you right now, I'm owing my debtors over 10,000. End of the May, we did not hear anything. They said we should not work one week. They will see to it. One week we work, nothing about it. We decided that we will not work one week, but other other colleagues start working because of intimidating. Now we are doing it, we know that definitely we are going to intimidate, but we don't care. No, okay. I don't have any money. If you go to, if you want, I will send you to my house, go and see. My fridge is empty, everything is empty. Yesterday, quite the long people came to my house, I ran away. Because if they come every day, I'm telling them lies. So I have to tell you to tell the, uh, the government to please should pay us. We don't want to end these people to laugh at us. Please. We have worked for 68 days. Now you are telling us that you are going to pay uh, 12 days. We are not going to accept it. No, it's an insult. 12 days payment is an insult. How can they pay 12 days? What are we going to do with that 12 days? What are we going to do with that 12 days? So we are not going to accept it until they pay all the money, the full payment, the 68 days. We want our 68 days. So we always talk about it and then they tell us to you know, do it and that they will take care of us. They take care of us. But it seems like what I really hate is that nobody communicates with us. They don't tell us anything. You go there, they'll tell you, oh, just go, we will talk, we'll, we are doing something about it. But nobody comes back to tell you anything. Lack of coming, they don't mind us. They don't, they don't respect us. That's the point, they don't respect. Now, although they had earlier announced a boycott of their service, some members were still cooking. But the leadership of the association says it has redirected all members to lay down their tools and those who defy the directive will be dealt with this time. An association, and we've sent warning, and, uh, warning to them. We don't want any caterer going to school to cook. If we see you, we will deal with you how we are supposed to deal with you. Well, you've heard it all. The school feeding caterers have decided that they are going to boycott all the cooking until they receive full payment from the government. And while they are on strike, it is the school children who are going to bear the brunt of uh, this action. We hope that government does listen to them and resolve their concerns. Reporting for City News from Circle here in Accra, my name is Nashika Caesar.